Hi guys, we're going to do an Easter basket cake. Okay, so here are my supplies. I have all my icing colors here. I have a uh, bag of white, which this is what we're going to do our basket weave with. And then I have a smaller bag of white. And then I have my green. I have my spatula. Uh, my um, Easter eggs. And these are just store-bought eggs. And I have a bunny, chocolate bunny. And this is a store-bought bunny. I have my tips, tip four, no, excuse me, tip 2B and tip 233 and tip 21. I have my cake board, which is a 10-inch cake board. And then I have my cakes, which are 8-inch cakes. And I've already cut those cakes. And then I have my um, turntable here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move these cakes over for a second here. So I can prepare my board. So. Just want to get a blob of icing. Spread it over your board. Here's the first layer of cake. And also, let me say this too. When you're doing a, um, a round cake like this, you want to have your board a couple inches uh, larger than your cake. So when you decorate on the sides, your decorations won't come off on the sides. Okay. So we're going to take... can see this. I'm just going to go around here, fill this in, and then kind of smooth it over. And I, and I did a three, a three, uh, layer cake. And then we're going to take our second layer, push that down. Let me fill my bag up. show you guys this. This is a little bit unlevel here because I just really just did it very quickly. I didn't take my time and do it. But what I'll do right here is I'll take a, I save the uh, cake that I cut off like the, the uh, top of the cake and we'll just take a little piece of cake and fill that in. So always save your um, cake after you after you level it, because you can go back and kind of mend some of the pieces. Now, see how that bought that right up, and it made it even with the rest of the cake? Okay. So, we'll go finish putting our icing on there. layer on. And this is the top layer. I'm going to kind of wipe these crumbs off. I hate to work with crumbs here. So we'll kind of wipe those crumbs off the board. I guess with this cake it really wouldn't matter because um, 
we're going to cover it. But I just don't like the crumbs. Okay. And we're just going to do a crumb coat here. And it really doesn't matter how it looks because we're going to cover this with the basket weave. We just want enough on here to crumb coat it. So we'll have something uh, for the uh, basket weave to adhere to. And usually I will use a bench scraper to level, not to level, but to uh, smooth out my cake. See how smooth that is. And then I'll go back up to the top and then I'll bring the edges in so the edges won't. Okay. Then we're going to take our 18 inch piping bag and I have the large uh, coupler. I like the large coupler, uh, excuse me, the large tip to do my basket weave. I think it just looks so much prettier. But you know, it's your own preference. You can use a smaller one too as well. So here we got the, uh, I think this is the 2B uh, serrated tip. Put that on there. And then you just want to start, <laughs> you want to make sure the serrated part is on the outside. And then you want to go up and you want to make your vertical line. Just go up. Uh-oh. Let's do that one again. That one fell off. Make sure it's touching the cake. Go up. And then you want to do the horizontal across and you want to leave enough space in there so you can go back and fill that in and then you kind of go up again fill your spaces in Just continue doing that all around the cake. The tip kind of get a little messy, you just wipe it off. And when 
you're doing this uh, basket weave, you want to make sure that your icing is firm because if not, it'll fall off the cake. You can do this in a di uh, different uh, colors. Uh, you can use brown, you can use pastels, and you can also uh, use two tones for this particular cake. But I'm just giving you the basics and you just make it your own. However you want to do it. Let me fill my bag up. Also, you want to make sure there's no air in there in your bag. I find that when you use the same color all the way around, if you make mistakes, your mistakes won't show. So let me fill my small bag up again. And I'll, I'll use the 21 tip for this to do my border. Just kind of go around the sides. Do your border. And then seal the hole here. So don't fill that in. Then you want to take your green with your 233 tip. To do your grass. And you just randomly just kind of, and you can let it come off the side. There's no certain way, just you just want to cover it.
this is a little time consuming, but it's so pretty. Let me fill my bag up again. Just kind of go back and fill in the little spots that you missed. And we're going to take our little bunny. Just stick him down in the center. And then we'll take our little eggs. Just kind of randomly lay them around. There's a lot of blue ones in here. And there you have it. Your basket weave cake. Now also, if you want to do a, um, like a handle, you can use a fondant, and, but you have to use like a wire and you cover it in fondant and you let it set like overnight and then you just stick it down in there. Okay, guys, that is your basket weave cake. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like the video, please like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.